Good day everyone and welcome to Slush Money. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today we're going to look at mining Shiva Inu with a 4GB graphics card on Unminable with LOL Miner. Let's get into it. Let's start with what coin we're going to be mining. So we're going to go to unminable.com. We will be mining Ethereum Classic into Shiba Inu with our 4 gigabyte graphics card. So we select Shiba Inu. We're going to be mining ETC. And we're going to be using LOL Miner. Select the link to download LOL Miner, the latest version. And the latest version is LOL Miner version 1.31 for Windows. Download the zip file. Once the folder has been downloaded, right click on the zip file. Select Extract All. And Extract. Double click on the folder. We won't be using any of the bat files. We're going to right click in on the folder, select new, and select text. And this will be for Shiba Inu mining. One thing that we're going to do is change the TXT to BAT, right click on the bat file, select edit, and we need to edit this bat file with the string to mine Shiba Inu on unminable. Now to create the bat file, we will be copying the string for LOL miner. It will be in the description below as well. Copy the string of text and paste it into your bat file. We're going to be mining ETC with this 4G graphics card, so we need to change the algorithm. That will be ETC hash, and this will be etc.unminable.com. The port that we're mining on is 3333. The coin that we're mining is SHIB, S-H-I-B. Paste your address in your address. And then we're going to create a worker for this specific graphics card or miner. We're going to call this worker AMD 4 gigabyte card. And I only have one in this PC. As you can see, this gives you a breakdown of what needs to be in your text file. So the asset symbol is SHIB, your SHIB address, and the worker name is required. Now, if you have a referral code, you can lower your mining fees to 0 0.75 just by adding it after the worker name. After our worker name, we're going to put in our referral code. So what we've changed in our bat file is the algorithm, which is etc hash. The pool that we're mining on is etchash.unminable.com. We've put in our coin that we're mining, and we put in our Shiba Inu address. This is our worker, and this is our referral code. You don't have to put in the referral code if you don't want to, but this will be in there. And that's about it. All you need to do is just save it. And we're ready to go. So let's see what our 4 gigabyte graphics card hashes ETC at. Double click on your bat file. And just remember, we haven't set any overclocks or undervolts on this RX 570 4 gigabyte graphics card. We'll do that shortly. Waiting for it to load the tag. And 
and we're getting about 22 mega hash per second and that's without overclocking and under vaulting let's just take a look at what our power consumption will be and our power consumption is about 87 watts now let's see if we can drop that power consumption and see if we can push up our hash rates what can this RX 570 hash at on Ethereum Classic so let's close our mining window and we're going to open our AMD software so under performance under tuning you can set overclocks and under vaults on this card we're going to select manual and we're going to open up each one of these settings okay now you'll notice that our frequency is at 1286 we're going to drop that down to about 1100 our voltage is at 1150 we can actually drop that down to about 800 Our memory timings, I usually use memory timings level 2. And we're going to use 2000 on the memory frequency. Okay, let's close this up and see what our card mines at. And we're getting 28.25 mega hash per second on Ethereum Classic. Let's just see what our power consumption would be, seeing that we dropped that. And our power consumption is 98 watts, which doesn't seem right. Let's go back into our software and see what needs to be changed. Can we do 750 on this card? We got it down to about 67 watts by changing our voltage to 750. Let's see what it does in our mining software. The voltage will depend on which 4 gigabyte graphics card you have. Usually you can run it at 800, but we dropped it down to about 750 and we're getting 28 mega hash per second at about 65, 66 watts which is not bad let's see what our profitability on this card would be with those figures so we're going to take 28 at 66 watts okay so we're looking at what to mine to see what our profitability would be per day as you can see Ethereum Classic is trading at $50 currently. And if we take a 570, we should get about 27.9 mega hash. But we're getting about, we're going to say 28. And instead of 120 watts, we're going to use 66 watts. We use about 20 cents per kilowatt in South Africa. Let's calculate and see what our profitability would be. Okay. So you'll notice that Ravencoin is on top because it is more profitable, but it uses a bit more electricity. So after electricity, you'd only walk away with 61 cents. With Ethereum Classic, you'd walk away with 98 cents. So we're actually earning about 98 cents with 28 mega hash at 66 watts. 
which is not bad and we're earning one dollar thirty cents per day before electricity but this number of a year is more important because you need to still kind of factor in electricity let's take a look at the profitability on NYSASH and see what this card generates so we have an AMD RX 570 and we've got the 4G graphics card we are using about 20 cents USD and let's calculate see what we get that's fairly low so we're looking at about 48 cents usd per day of the electricity and if we go down let's see what they are mining ah you can't mine with four gigabyte graphics cards on nysash so ethereum classic wouldn't be here the next profitable coin would be Kapow or Autolocus. And they're using about 130 watts, which I'm sure you can get that down. But I'll take a look at these algorithms with the 4 gig graphics card in a later video. The last thing that we need to check is our monitoring of our mining graphics card. So we go back to unminable.com, select the coin that you're mining. And on the right hand side, you need to insert your Shiba Inu address and search. So I still have a balance of about 458,000 Shiba. But over here, under worker, you've got ETH. And that's if you're mining Ethereum. This is for Ethereum Classic. This is for Random X, which is your CPU algorithm. And then if you're mining Ravencoin, uh, that would be where you'll find your work. We're mining ETC, so we're going to select ETC hash. You'll find your worker name on the right hand side with your mega hash. And let's see what this card can generate. One last thing. Let's take a look at how much Shiba Inu you can actually mine a day with a 4 gigabyte graphics card. Looking at CoinGecko, we know how much we can mine a day with Ethereum Classic. So we're going to convert what we can mine a day to Shiba Inu. So at the moment we can mine $1.30. As you can see, it's about 163,000 Shiba Inu a day. I'm sure there's fees in converting your Ethereum Classic to Shiba Inu, so you might not actually get this. A bit less, but you should be earning about 160,000 Shiba Inu per day. And that brings me to the end of our video. Hope you found it informative and insightful. Something different to mine with 4 gigabyte graphics cards. I am mining directly to Binance. And then from there converting it or hodling. Please leave a comment down below of your thoughts of mining Shiba Inu with the 4 gigabyte graphics cards or let me know what you are mining with your 4 gigabyte graphics cards leave a like if you found this video informative and insightful please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos thank you for watching catch you on the next video ciao for now